Hey guys, Nancy here. Welcome back to my channel. So, today I have this beat brought to you by a black owned brand. They're a black owned Canadian brand called Shilera Cosmetics. And I wanted to try them out. I was really excited to get their products in time for Black History Month. So today we're doing first impressions, baby. I want to encourage you all to buy black during Black History Month, especially when you're getting quality products. I, I'm not surprised by the end result, but when I see an end result like this, it just kind of validates the fact that why spend money at your local drugstore to get products that are less quality and not enrich the community of a black person. I buy black all year round, but I want you guys to do it, especially during Black History Month, because it is important to progress black communities. It is important to put money in black people's pockets because there's a lot of things that we have gone through in the past that kind of set us back. If you do not know, just Google slavery and like do yourself some, some homework. Like, anyways, <laughs> we're not here to get into that, but we are here to get into this beat. So if you're interested in seeing how I accomplish this look, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Shilera Cosmetics, then scroll down, hit the subscribe button, join the Natchi gang, 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 and let's get into this video. Why was one of my fingers down? <laughs> get into it okay so today I'm reviewing Shilera Cosmetics I've already put my base on because I did not buy a base from them I just bought everything else aside from base products just because I thought that that would be more realistic a lot of people if you're like me you have a hard time purchasing foundations online so that was my logic was that the majority of people aren't gonna come to this brand for their foundations a lot of people already have good go-to foundations, so that was just my thought process on that and that is why I didn't do that so what did I get? I got the Lance River eyeshadow palette and the Richmond eyeshadow palette. Something really neat about this brand is they give you the ability or the choice to purchase their palettes distressed, basically is the best way to put it, or um, slightly damaged. So this is the Lance River palette. It looks fine and it's, there's nothing wrong with it in my opinion, um, but you purchase it at just kind of Price. and things like the mirror are a little not in the best shape like it's just little things like little packaging things some of the eyeshadows also were loose um, they weren't sticking to the pan but I mean if it saved me a couple bucks per palette to me as someone who was placing a large order it was worth it especially because as someone who does makeup regularly I drop things I get things dirty like to me it's it's not it's okay if it's not aesthetically pleasing all I care about is the quality of the product this is the Richmond palette I also got the aura highlighter it looks like this you know what really sold me about this brand was that I could tell they were Jamaican when I saw highlighters called shine I yell set good bright and fiesty oh my gosh that was what sold me <laughs> like I had I didn't have to ask any questions I didn't have to like I didn't have any doubt I was just like what payday what payday is it that I'm going to place the order? Because I already knew. I was already sold. Like I, in my heart of hearts, in my spirit as a Jamaican girl, I knew, like I, I knew it was for me. This is the Earth eyeshadow palette. Then I got their lip liner in brown sugar. It's a little too light for me. I will use it as like a lip filler, almost like to fill in pigment if I'm missing it. It looks like that. These are their matte lipsticks. The peachy color is Empress and the matte brown is Cassava. Again, really cute names, really good colors. And then they have glosses, I got three. These are the shades. Glamity, which is almost like a nice like mocha brown caramel color. Uh, Situationship, which is a very sheer pink. And Skatel, which is a nice bright, bright pink color. First thoughts on the packaging, I hate this. I hate that it's white, and that's just me being opinionated because that's what you guys are here for. I don't like white packaging as a black woman because I, like literally guys, I've touched this for all of two seconds and my fingerprints are all over it. It's not enough to stop me from buying from the brand, but just keep that in mind that this is not what you're gonna be keeping clean. These are things that you're gonna use and you are gonna get fingerprints all over them. That being said, this packaging is the bomb.com. First of all, it's super cute, super chic. The packaging is clean. The brand is clean. This packaging is everything. Like, I love the way this looks. I like that it's easy to clean, even from fingerprints. Like, it looks like it's like fingerprint proof. Like, I have nothing on here. Love these. So, super excited to dive into all this stuff. The swatches look really good. Again, I've done my base, so I'm just gonna go into eyeshadow right away. I really wanna do something pink to match my hair. I kinda wanna do something monochromatic. So, to start, I'm gonna just prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow base. 
That is one thing I would love to see from this brand already, just based on the, you know, super bold colors of their eyeshadow palettes. I would love to see their own eyeshadow base. Like, I am very big on when I'm shopping black home brands, I would love it to be like one-stop shop. I want you to have your own lashes. I want you to have your own mascara. I want you to have all of that so that I don't have to buy from anyone else anymore. Like, this is literally all I'm asking for. This matte liquid lipstick, I'm just trying to take it off like with a wipe. It's not coming off. I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed that it's like so long wearing, but I mean, I'm a little concerned for when I have to take it off my lips there. Actually, no, I'm lying. I'm gonna put a gloss over it. I already know, so it won't be so bad, but keep that in mind. These are very long lasting, pigmented matte liquid lipsticks. Okay. Face on, shit activated. I'm already like drawn to hominy one because I want some. I'm hungry. Uh, that's like, it's like a porridge in Jamaica. I don't even know if it's in Jamaica, it's probably in the islands period. I shouldn't even say that, it's ignorant. Uh, but I already see like Tangelo, Big Oman, calling my name, sweetie, like mango hall, browning, all of that. That is all, I feel like I'm using all of those. Uh, so just to give you guys a close up of the eyeshadow palette so you know what I'm talking about for reference. I'm just going to set my base and my transition harmony. Then I'm just gonna pack on Angelo. Ooh, come through pigment. This is why I'm saying I want this all. Like I need you to really come through with the eyeshadow base because this is everything. Oh my gosh, that's just one color. Like aside from Hominy in my crease, like this is just Tangelo. A look, like I could dead ass put some eyeliner on this and I'd be done. Okay, okay. Now we're just putting Big Oman over top of that. The orange is what we just really want to show up as our transition shape. It's really all about the pink. The pink needs to pop. Ugh, oh, freedom. Wow. My forehead's big, by the way. Wow. So right now we just, I've decided. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like kind of blending and then got lost in the sauce. So I'm putting Tangelo in this center here. But out here is pumpkin. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Then I'm gonna take DHQ, which is that shimmery pink, and just pop that in the inner corner. So I think I'm going to mix it with Mango Hall. If you have any harsh lines, just go over your the edge of your lip with your lighter color. So in this case, that's Omni. So now I'm just going to put on mascara. I'm using the Fenty Full Frontal Mascara and I'm gonna do the bottom lash line and lashes and all that stuff. For lashes, I'm using the Luxe Beautypolitan's, I don't know what this is called, but it's basically their eyeliner glue situation and their charming lashes. Like this looks so cute. I don't have a lip on. I'm like, wow, like all of a sudden I'm that bitch. <laughs> Love that for me. While I didn't swatch the eyeshadows, but I think that's just kind of crazy. Like, you know what blue looks like, you know what blue should look like. And I hope that this is like a really good example of how their eyeshadows show up on the skin. Still had to use an eyeshadow base that's not uncommon for me in bright colors just because of the melanation of my epidermis. To me, I, are, I always expect that when it comes to brightly pigmented shadows. So either way, I hope that this is a good example for you. I'm not gonna swatch all the eyeshadows. I will, however, however, I will swatch the highlighters. So set good, which I am obsessed with because I like anything that makes me look like I have glass skin. Shine Eye Gal, which has like green flecks in it, which is super cool. Um, Bright and Facey, which is like a light champagne color, and Vacation, which is this rosy pink. Good Light Gold, Bright and Facey again. Gizada, which again is giving me that skin feel, as well as Bra Topsy. I'm loving it. You know why I love this especially? Because when someone asks me what highlighter I have on and I say Bra Topsy from Shailier Cosmetics, they're not gonna know how to respond, and I love that. I love that for me, I love that for this brand. I'm putting on Bra Topsy. Um, the most. <laughs> the afi. I love it. So, let's get into bra tipsy. <laughs> I went too ham. I went too I was so focused on like, whoo, bra tup. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, let's try to blend it up. Wait, wait, wait. Let me relax. So now let's set our face. 
Their lip pencil, their dark brown lip pencil was sold out. They do sell one, I just couldn't get my hands on it. And that's okay. So I'm just gonna be lining my lips with Max Chestnut. I'm gonna use both matte lipsticks, but I feel like that would be like a cute little combo. So I'm gonna put Cassava around my lips with my liner. And then we're gonna put Impress in the middle. I'm gonna use Glamity as a gloss. I really went crazy with the highlighter. Like, you know, contrary to that, look crazy. Like, I know, but I'm just gonna talk to you from this side of my face. And this is the finished look. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. I really want to encourage you guys to buy black all the time, but specifically during Black History Month. Be sure to put some money in the pocket of a black business. Small or big, doesn't matter. Support black, buy black. Specifically because a look like this to me, the quality is superior to what I find at my drugstore. Like the Wet n Wilds, the NYX, the CoverGirl. Like this is, I cannot get this kind of look with those kind of products. So why am I spending my money there? Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Highlighter, the shine light this upon my cheeks from where? I shall look good, everything good, everything set. Like, <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's, it's, the, it's, it's, it's the cosmetics, they're getting to me. <laughs> but I love it, I absolutely love it, I'm here for it. And again, I think that when you compare apples to apples, a lot of times we're missing out on really good quality products. For what? For a little old nix down the street? Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I did today. Any questions about where you can get each other cosmetics, I'll link that all in the description box down below. And if you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to me. It doesn't pay my bills yet, but it will one day. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!